There are days where it can feel really hard to take the alternative path in Singapore. Sometimes it almost feels as though there's no room for failure, especially when you're trying to do something that challenges the status quo. When I started my first hardware startup, we actually raised good capital, got media coverage, but it actually failed to find a scalable business model to bring the business further. Today, young people care about making a difference, but they may not have all the support that they need to take on the path less travelled. We all once worked for a man called Philip Yeo. He challenged us to dare and to be extraordinary. And what that meant was having the courage to ask questions, to ask not just why, but why not, and to make a difference. We codenamed his style of leadership, MAD. We called his protégés MAD Cows, which stands for Make a Difference, Change Our World. The key to success in any company or country is talent. And therefore, the key for any good organisation or country is to nurture the talent, encourage talent. And some talent develop faster, some develop slower. But the key is to encourage and nurture them. And therefore, that will help grow the country or company. Many of the leaders that you see in the public and private sectors today were once guided by Philip. So we wanted to develop leaders who share the same leadership traits as Philip Yeo. So we created the Philip Yeo Initiative we will be able to then provide them the opportunity to meet and learn from the man himself, who is a role model for risk-taking and relationship building. In building leaders, we hope that they will also give back to society and one day, maybe they will also become mentors for the next generation. But if the person has got curiosity, the ability to learn and the courage to keep questioning and keep trying, then that's what we're after. We had many tough conversations with my mentor, Abel, but I'll never forget what he actually told me, is that it was about the person, not about the business or product itself. Because PYI believed in me, I had the confidence to move on to my next startup called Sidley. Today, I work on helping millennials make smarter financial decisions. Because PYI believed in me, I felt like I had a community of fellow travellers in this sometimes crazy journey to make a systemic difference. I got to create an invention lab and work very closely with beneficiaries and associates to develop and prototype solutions for the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I found the much needed encouragement I need to continue to bring Rabbit Ray around the world. Today, I still work with our senior population to better plan for their ageing journey. I still work with individuals and organisations to develop the social and emotional skills they need to create the change that they want to see. I still work to empower disadvantaged children and youth by helping them learn digital and computer literacy skills. Our PY associates and fellows are our new pioneers and I look forward to seeing what kind of Singapore they will build. There are places they need to be, people need to meet and our job is to help them grow to reach their goals.